So I'm going to make a key for the uh, unit circle sheet that we had yesterday. All right, so based on the video and the sheet from yesterday, you should have been able to fill out the unit circle here. But I want to make sure you guys understand what to do for this. So I'm going to make a little key for this right here. So what you're doing in each one of these cases, you're looking at your unit circle at either the radians or the degrees and putting down either the y or the x term for sine or cosine. Okay, so for example, at pi over 6, you look at the unit circle, find pi over 6. Since we're looking at sine, we're looking at the y value of the point at pi over 6, which is 1 half. Okay, that's it. You're done. For cosine of 300, you find 300 degrees. Cosine is the x term. You look at what the point is for the x term. It's 1 half again. All right, cosine of 30, find 30 in the unit circle. Find the x term. 3 over 2. Cosine of pi over 2 is going to be 0. 5 pi over 6 on the unit circle with the y value, it is 1 half. Cosine of 45, so the x term is root 2 over 2. At 120, the y value is root 3 over 2. At 2 pi, which is the same thing as 0 pi. The cosine value is going to be the x term, which is 1. 5 pi over 4. The y value is negative root 2 over 2. At 180, the y value is 0. At 60, the x value is 1 half. At 11 pi over 6, the y value is negative 1 half. At 5 pi over 4, the x term is negative root 2 over 2. At 270 degrees, the y value is negative 1. At 240 degrees, the y value is negative root 3 over 2. And at 2 pi over 3, the x value is negative 1 half. All right, so that's your quick key for the sheet from yesterday, just in case you're having problems. Those are the answers. All right, good luck for today's stuff.